Be good. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ice the visiting Hampton Roads Whalers and the 2012-2013 Potomac Patriots. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the starting lineup for tonight's game for the Potomac Patriots. Starting in goal, number 39, Alec Yatzler. On defense, number 55, John Rempe. Also on defense, number 92, Timur Tamor. At left wing, number 93, <laughs> Joe. Oh, well, we do apologize. We seem to have lost him. No longer getting the announcements. And now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise okay. and direct your attention to the American flag located behind the Patriots' goal for the playing of our national anthem. Anthem face-off. Coming up. Play some hockey. The organist is always in tune. Let's get to our starting goaltenders brought to you by Gatorade, the official sports drink of the Potomac Patriots. Shrems, who do we have in goal? Rightfully deserved. Alec Gessler going to get another start. One and three on the season. However, he's sporting a 2-3-6 goals against average and a 9-4-0 save percentage. Okay, now let's go to the other side. <laughs> Quite impressed. Oh, you were pointing down there. Yes. Well, I'm reading, so. Oh. Let's go to Blake Scott. One win on the season, two goals against average, and a 9.35 save percentage. Just Hampton Roads Whalers have only played two games, so we're going to have to see how things go here. All right. Opening faceoff just about to get underway. It's now Nelson's going to say, back up, back up, give me my space. And the faceoff's one back to the Whalers. And the Whalers breaking it out the other way. And it's going to be chased down into the Patriots zone, far side. And it's going to be Pouliot that's chasing it down. Rempe trying to do some battle to get the puck, but it'll be stripped away by number 21, Kane Mitsu. And already we got our first penalty. Wow, look at that, right out the gates. We're going to start tossing them in the sin bin. New cross check on that. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I was looking at my roster. Yep. And cross check. No, he got him pretty good. It's a yeah, so John Rappi, uh, you're going to have to brush up on your um, <laughs> your calls. What? Was You'll find a, out in a second. Was it not a cross check? We're going to leave this Jeopardy question. Uh, <laughs> I hang. saw a cross check. You saw a cross check, yeah. just like everyone saw interference last week. What did we see tonight? Let's find out from Jared Rowski from Metro DC DJs. The penalty to number 55, John Rempe. Two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 22 seconds. The exact opposite of cross Sorry, checking. Sorry, Shremzy. <laughs> 
Well, it's cycled up top to Woods. Woods, down low over to the near side, over to Snyder. Snyder back up to Woods. Woods cross ice pass over to Cornfield. Cornfield looking for it. He's at the top and over to Snyder. And Snyder whips on that one. As it's back down low. Up along the half boards, near side Snyder. Cameron Snyder losing control of it thanks to the work of Christian Parker. Christian Parker back from his concussion. It's now it's Zen Zendejas I'll try to take his shot. And it's deflected over to Cameron Snyder for the Whalers. Up top, and it's Cornfield. Sending it down low. And Bagfelt almost getting his arms wrapped around the neck of the Whalers player. As it's Snyder that throws it up into the near corner. There's one minute left on the penalty kill to Rempe as a shot goes right into the glove of Alec Yutzler. As we talked in the pregame, 94% save percentage and a 2-3, well, something. The goals against. When, when you are seeing 55 shots a game and only letting in six. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Yeah, mathematically, I see. You concur. I concur for sure. As this one's cleared the length of the ice. By the Patriots, back to Chase, are the Whalers, and setting up shot behind the net. It was number 10, it was Matthew Colcasey. And it's sent across in the Patriots zone, back behind. Chasing it down is a mystery man, number six, that we do not have on our roster. It's going to be Gary Galley unless he changes himself. <laughs> oh, there. man. I tried to reach out. It might be Haynes, for all we know. As the shot just goes wide, I did request for the names and numbers of our players through the coaching staff, but we did not reach our head coach, Andy Newton. Regardless, the Patriots clear this one along the ice. We have 10 seconds left on Rempe's penalty. And that will be graced with five-a-side hockey again. Finally. Yeah. Whew. Unlike the last game, the last game started five on four. Here comes a shot. It goes just out of play as there's two seconds left on Rempe's penalty. You know, a good test for this Potomac Patriots squad early on here to kill off this penalty, and, and it looks like they're going to do so with only two seconds left. And All right, so Arthur Reviski is wearing 25. So we got that number figured out. Um, it's please. Haynes, Michael, uh, your choice. Haynes or Michaels? Uh, we'll find out. Or Galley. I like Gary Galley, but man, that, that's just me. Mark's getting tossed from the draw. And it was taken by Alex Gross. As this one goes over to the nice opposite back. side for Cornfield. Nice back checking there by Carr. And here comes Gross. Gross, one on one. Comes in and loses the puck as he tried to loft it over the stick of number 19, Cody Pessig. Off in the near corner, McDonald chasing. Being checked into the boards by Snyder. Snyder getting popped right back by Nathan Marks. Comes over to the near side, up top to the point, and a shot by Pessig goes wide. Cornfield chasing for the Whalers all the way down the length of the ice. No icing, of course, because that was a Whalers shot that resulted in that. And it was Cornfield chasing it back in the far corner of his own zone. Getting checked hard by Alex Gross. Along the near side now. Pash through center. Up to number eight, it's Nicholas Michaels. There's, there's another. Well, that is the Nicholas Michaels we're looking for, Mr. Schrems. Marks leading it ahead for Smith. The Smith didn't see it coming. It was behind him the entire time. Well, Smith, and it's Marks who put it up through the center of the slot, but it'll be picked up and sent ahead by Taylor Pash. Bag fell. Nice hit. <laughs> way hit, way late hit there by Grayson Rooney, but hey, we'll give him credit for that one, right? And Nicholas Michaels there, or Haynes. Haynes is wearing number eight. Okay, I'm confused. Uh, they, they must have just thrown the jerseys into a laundry hamper or something. I, I do apologize, folks. As now it's Travis Reese for the Patriots across the line into the Whalers zone. Just have it sticked away from my neighbor. But now it's pinned up behind the cage. Trying to free it. A couple of Patriots players and Cameron Snyder for the Whalers. And it's finally poked free over to William Neighbor. Neighbor getting checked hard in the boards by Travis Reese. But it's the Whalers coming back the other way with Haynes. Haynes comes in, takes a shot and a great blocker saved by Yutzler. It goes into the glass in the far corner. Gregory taking out his man. Not trying to free it. That is number six. They're going to go with Michaels on six. Or Nichols. Uh, okay. So we have some confusion here. I do not even have a Nichols on this roster at all. So bear with us, folks. Bear with us. 
We'll find out who this mystery man is. So we have some interference going on in front of the net, but we won't, or in front of the bench, I beg your pardon, we won't get any calls as a backhand shot from Cameron Schneider gets deflected off into the near corner of the Patriots zone. Looks like Harding dropped his man as the puck comes out in the neutral zone and picked up by Fleurier. And this one hits a lighting fixture and we're waiting for that thing to come down, but it will not. <laughs> well, finally, we get a stoppage. 15.05 left here in the first. Mickles? Mickles? Michaels? Yeah. All right, Mickles. Mickles, Michaels, potato, potato. We do apologize, folks. We are just getting these uh, rosters adjusted to our liking as we're seeing them out on the ice. They're not exactly accurate on the web, so we do apologize. 14.50 remains here in the first, and Piccarelli takes out his man, Pessig, into the boards. Fed to the front and almost stuffed home on the keeper. And there's Blake Scott. On it. Parker trying to chase it down. Comes over to Hannon. Leaving it there for JoJo Harding, who pops it in front of the net. Nobody there to slam it home. John Florier leading it up ahead. And it's picked up by Rempe in his own zone. Over to Tamar Hannon. Tamar Hannon. A little NA experience, N uh, NA3 experience, I beg your pardon, with the uh, Pittsburgh Junior Penguins coming into this organization this year. Check out the Patriots playback with our interview with him. Edgington keeping it active as Captain Turgeon trying to find his way to the puck. Well, he does keep it active in there as he did deflect through. Here comes Whipper. Whipper looking to hook up in front. And a chance there for Pouliot. It's foiled as the Whalers stick that one aside. McDonald, point shot. Deflected through but goes wide. Goes off to Turgeon. Turgeon feeding it through to the slot. Nobody there to gobble it up. McDonald over to Edgington. Edgington using the glass to put it ahead but Nobody's aggressively going after it. This is one of those problems that Coach had talked about. Here comes a chance now the other way for Kane Mitsu. And here comes backhand shot. They score. Wow, just like that. Alec Yutzler just got undressed and one nothing. The Whalers leading the Patriots with 13-32 left here in the first period. Shrems, how did that all play out? Yeah, very fast transition for the Whalers. Could have been a three-on-one, but but nonetheless, it was it was a, a beautifully played two-on-one and, and you know, Yetzler had no chance on that. We get into it time and time again with this team. We're seven minutes into this game. We have yet to see a shot from the Tone Patriots. I looked down for a second here. Was that Brissette that got that goal? Mm. Number 22, I believe. Or 21. We'll I find out. I wouldn't trust the internet. Yeah, Jeopardy. Here we go. Wheeler's goal, scoring his second goal of the season. Number 22, got Alex Brissette. Assisted by number 21, Clayton Kanemitsu. Time of the goal, 6.28. That's Hampton Roads' goal, scored by number So 22, I Alex. win the million dollar prize. So there you have it, folks. Alexander Brissett getting the opening goal in this game, seven minutes in. So Marks, turnaround shot. It doesn't make its way through to the net as it goes back behind the goal line. The backhand feed by Marks to the front, and Carr couldn't find it. And the Whalers will, and a nice stop up there at the blue line by Rooney. As he stopped up number 25, who I believe we're going with, uh, uh, was Ray Rayevsky. Rayevsky, there you go. I hate learning on the fly, and I do apologize. It's just, I never knew, I didn't know what kind of a roster we get. So Mickles will have it. And he's going back D to D, and Florier's going to come back to it. And Mickles just playing D for the moment, so he'll switch oh, back. Wow. A hard check there. Gross getting dumped down onto his keister by Dylan Woods. Woods is going to push back, though. Well, the referee's watching behind the play, so pass dropping it off to Nichols. Nichols winds up, takes a shot, and just goes wide. Off over to Florier along the far boards, and John Rimpey will put it out into the neutral zone. The Whalers still maintaining control. Three to one in, in, in the shot department. One nothing, Whalers lead. Bagfeld colliding with Gross there for a second, but Bagfeld's going to get back, and he's looking for a change. The Whalers still inside their own zone. Travis Reese almost had it for a second there. John Gregory buzzing around as well. Kicked up ahead by Tamar. Oh, wow. This gets absolutely destroyed by Cameron Snyder. Wow. I just really saw that coming, huh? Especially Tamar. Starting to get a little physical here. And here comes Haynes across the line. Haynes trying to gain control of it, but he has it poked away from him. Cameron Smith leading it ahead. And it's dropped up ahead for him from Travis Reese. Reese going in with Gregory. And Smith has it popped away from him. And it's Haynes that'll put it over to the near side. Kept active by Hannon. That'll be Cameron Smith. I'm sorry, uh, Cameron Snyder. 
putting it ahead. And it's Gregory that'll get it along the Whalers blue line and clears it in. Having a little trouble with it at his net is Scott. And it's the Whalers coming up with Snyder. Snyder with a lead pass over to Hainzen. Nicely tied up there by Hannon. I'll give him credit on that one. He had him tied up all the way. And back the other way, Parker to Harding. Harding with a spin around, clear in, no icing. And the Patriots are going to finish off their changes. Parker trying to get in the way of that one. Harding too. And finally, it is turned over to Edgington back in his own zone. Rempe, Edgington playing catch, almost intercepted. And Edgington putting it up along the boards, and it is picked off by Schneider. Snyder back on the opposite side. It is Pessig who dumps it into the Patriots zone. D to D, it's McDonald and Edgington. And the lead pass too far for Piccarelli. It's going to be played up by the Whalers. Out of the neutral zone, Harding chipping it in, but Patriots are going to have to tag up. And a nice check there on Neighbor by Harding, but it'll be turned over to the Whalers in their own zone. Ten and a half to go here in the first. One nothing Whalers. Some back and forth action going on here, but nothing to write home about, that's for sure. No, not at all. And they were halfway through, and that was the fifth shot of the game right there. And Gullet with that shot that was popped away by Yutzler. And now McDonald moving it ahead for Piccarelli. Piccarelli will loft that in and will get yet another change for the Patriots. Quick changes. 30 second yep. shifts is what I'm counting right now. Now yeah, it's going to be Woods with it. Woods across the blue line. Drops it to pass. Pass with a shot and an easy save for Yutzler. And he'll hold on to slow things down. With 9.53, 9.52, 9.51, 9.50, the clock continues to roll. Well, that's well, that's about wow. 15 seconds. <laughs> I do hope they add time back on, but I guess it's not going to be the case. Oh, they did add back the time on, so thank goodness. And as the faceoffs won by the Whalers with it now, up top to Florian. Over the near boards. Brissett winds up, takes a shot, deflected off the skate of Pouliot. Floats its way into the slot. And a second attempt, Pissig puts it through the front. And it's covered up by Yutzler. Pissig with a little bit of a presence out there. He's not afraid to let the puck go for the Whalers. No. I'm starting to notice some trends with the go-to player. Shrimps, who is their go-to guy? Looking on the score. Well, Tough to look on the score sheet, but Cameron <laughs> Snyder is going to be a name that we're probably going to call a lot tonight. It's kind of funny and how that works Brissette. out. And maybe Brissett. Well, here comes his chance up front and almost the shot. It makes its way to Yussler. Yussler making two saves. The rebound gets swept behind the goal line. A lot of panic from the crowd. I heard a few shrieks. You know, I'm panicking too right now. Not wanting this team to go down 2 nothing with 9-10 to go here in the first. They're already down 1-0 off of an Andrew Brissett goal. Early on, about 6.48 into this opening period. Gross, trying to pick up the pass across ice over to the near side. He's inside the Whaler zone, trying to throw it to the slot for Mikey Carr, but can't hook up with him. Brissett, going to put it up long in front of his own bench and into the neutral zone. And it'll be led ahead, picked off by the Patriots, but it'll be turned back over to Brissett. Brissett's going to go off on a change after dumping it back into his own zone. And lucky for him, he got off in time because no more further changes will be allowed by the Whalers as they ice this puck down. 8.41 left here in the first one nothing Whalers. I'm David Stearns. That's Brian Shrems. And to my left at the camera is Jason Wakely. Cross ice feed. Give us a like on Facebook. Please give us a thumbs up. Because, you know, this is free. <laughs> price is right, Stearns. Yeah, the price is always right when it's free. Over to the near corner inside the Patriots zone. Up to the blue line and out. Edgington. Moves it gingerly in, but doesn't get it deep enough. His pass is going to take it right back out as the Patriots are trying to tag up. Edgington back in his own zone. Up along the near side, nobody along the left wing. He didn't realize that uh, he had Travis Reese on his side. It's going to be Cameron Smith floating up ahead here, trying to get it away from Cornfield. And Cornfield beats him out, drops the puck back. And Mickles trying to put a shot on Gregory, putting it ahead now for Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith coming back with Travis Reese. Smith. Coming across the line, winds up, takes a shot, pants save by Scott. And I don't know if he knew that was no, coming down. No, he didn't see that one coming one whatsoever. That one went sort glove to, to pad. <laughs> Knee-jerk reaction by Scott there, made the save, but a, a nice shot by Cameron Smith through the screen. Yeah, I'd like to see more of that, to be honest with you, because we've only seen two shots from the Patriots, and we're eight that was minutes a from intermission. Shot, though, yeah. yeah. Hey, take that shot. Exactly. Pulled it out of the cliche book again. Shoot the puck. 
Up top to the blue line. Nobody can shoot that puck because it squeezes between both defenders, Backfelt and Rooney, but Rooney will set it up for Harding, who gets checked off the puck by Haynes. And Cameron Snyder in there, helping it along over to Cornfield. Yeah, some trouble up there at the blue line. A bit of a massacre, if anything. A bunch of bodies went flying into each other. And it's going to be Rooney back behind his goal. Over to Piccarilli. Piccarilli having trouble with it. Turns it over to Snyder, but Snyder's shot's picked off by Piccarilli. Who takes it back the other way? Winding up, faking a hard clear in, and he'll actually just tap it in. Just tap, tap, tap it in. And now it'll be the Whalers coming through neutral, turning it over to Bagfeld back at his own blue line. He's having trouble there. He's number seven. Matthew Zendejas giving him a little trouble, but that being said, 7-12 left here in the first. Yeah, the Patriots really got to come together here soon. And they're getting outplayed. And I said, this run-and-gun style of hockey. And it's been fast-paced. And the Whalers are taking it to them. Yes, they are. It's been a very fast team. And Penalties coming up here, by the way. Matching minors for some indiscretions in the neutral zone. It'll be Hayes. Or Haynes, and I beg your pardon. And Harding, yes. Harding's in the box. So, four on four action. This opens things up. You get your big bodies out for the Patriots or what? You might as well. No, I mean, we got to kick started somehow. Yeah, Rempe's out there, but then we got Andrew Turgeon. I haven't seen too much of Turgeon, to no. be honest with you. But Hannon and Rempe is a good pairing out there. And Whipper and Turgeon, you got your speed there. You got your big bodies up in the back. Great. Chris Haynes. Potomac's number 28, JoJo Harding. Two minutes each for unsportsmanlike conduct. Time of the penalty. Turns out one oh, wow. He's just shot in a great That's glove save. Up. Again, using Bryce that Scott. screen. Using that screen to his advantage. Almost roofed that one. Use it if you got it. Exactly. Like, well, like you said, let's use the speed around the outside defenders here. We have that arena at our advantage. Yes, indeed. Swing as wide as you want to. Now the face off to the right of Scott. Whipper walking in, taking oh. a shot and a great stop there. I believe a defenseman got in front of that one. Up at the blue line. Oh Still no, and here pass. comes a breakaway for Kolkasi. Coming in, nice back checking there by Bagfeld. And a rebound up front to Brissette does not make its way through. Bagfeld really made up for that pretty much terrible pass. And Bagfeld trying to win it away from Brissette. The pass comes over to Woods along the near side blue line. Shot deflected away from Whipper, or by Whipper, I beg your pardon. It goes down to Bagfelt, fighting with Brissett in the far corner. And it looks like McDonald was going to try to sweep in and get it. He missed it on his way through. Bagfelt turning and throwing it up front. Yutzler gloves this out of the air, and Bagfelt is very upset. And it looks like he got hacked, maybe. He's holding his wrist. He's holding his... Yeah, it looked like he may have gotten a chop on the wrist. Bagfelt was the defender who made that errant pass. He's going to head off the ice. That Aaron pass that caused the breakaway, but he actually hustled to get back on the play and, and disrupt the breakaway and prevent a scoring opportunity. But he is sitting gingerly on the bench right now. 6.21 left here in the first. one nothing Whalers. Four on four for the next minute and five seconds. And now picking up the puck is Florier. And he almost gets picked off by the Patriots, and it does get squeezed back by Alex Gross. He's over to the near side. The Whalers break it out with Kane Mitsu. Kane Mitsu down low, dumps it down, and Rempe will pick it up. He throws it behind the back to Hannon. Hannon looking with a cross ice feed over to Gross. And Florier got in the way of that one. Hannon up along the glass, too far for Gross. Too far for everybody, but they're going to rule as deflected down, no icing, and it's not even going to make it to the goal line as Kane Mitsu gets back there to pick it up. Kane Mitsu. It's crushed into the boards by Gross. And a little slap back. No retaliation call there. A little stick action in the midsection. Fanning on his pass. It's Tamar Hannon, but Hannon gets a nice little spin around. Get away from his man, and he takes it through center. Hannon across the blue line. Still has it. Backhands it deep. Down there to chase his car. And the car has a chance there, and he had it for a second, but... He's turned over to the Whalers as we go back to five aside hockey with 5-12 left here in the first period. Cameron Snyder to the front to Kane Mitsu, and Kane Mitsu could not take that shot as it was just out of his reach as he gets taken down. And the Whalers fan base is lobbying for a call. They won't get it. Now Pouliot trying to free it. Kane Mitsu getting checked into the boards again. I just think he's just, he just falls over easily <laughs> at this point. He's just, he's just like an old tree falling in the woods. 
Nobody listens. Oh, and there's some retaliation behind the play. Hannon and Kane Mitsu. Kane Mitsu getting frustrated. I think he's going to be the one that's caught for this. I think Hannon is actually scot free on this one. So 4 4 4 left in the first. Kane Mitsu. The way it's for signal. Two. Okay. That's it. Hannon's not getting called for any extracurriculars on that. <laughs> yeah, it was a back and forth, but I think it was what Kane Mitsu did at the end there that warranted the penalty. So. They always get the retaliation. Yeah, they always do. Face off coming up to the left of Scott. Now would be the time to put the fourth one in the net. Fourth shot, that Hanson is. Hanson Rhodes penalty to number 21, Clayton Kanemitsu. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 13-16. So it comes up top to McDonald. Back over to Marks. Marks back up top to McDonald. McDonald down to Marks in the far corner. Marks looking for an open option here. Oh, yeah. He collides with R Whipper, and now we have some confusion here as Florier takes it into the boards and tries to kill some time. Whipper peeling away with it. Whipper to the front with a shot and gets deflected just wide. Yeah, good chance there for Whip. Now Alex Gross has it along the near side half boards. Gross weighing out his option. Sends it down low to Marks. Marks back over to Gross. Gross. Cross ice to the top. Whipper takes a shot and it's deflected wide. Piccarelli chasing. Florier giving a little hack there. No call. Let's drop back down. Marks with it again. Marks up top. McDonald back to Marks. And it's deflected away from him. It goes over his stick. And Whipper has it now. Whipper with a pass up top to McDonald. Back over to Whipper. Far side. Whipper winds up. Takes a shot. Through and it just gets deflected wide off of somebody's shin pad up front. Whipper coming in again, takes a shot to save the rebound. Scott can't find it, it's loose off in the far corner. Florier will find it and send it the length of the ice with 40 seconds left on the Metro DC DJ's power play. 3.24 left here in the first, one nothing Whalers, oh, wow, nice and hand. a hard check there. Cameron Schneider dumping Alex Gross. This one sent all the way down to Yutzler, who steers that aside, the rebound comes out. And it was Zendejas that almost had a chance there. And trapping it up at the far boards. I believe that is McDonald, he moves it ahead. And Cameron Smith with it now. And he's putting it up in front here. He's going to try to find his way around. And that was a hack on his stick by Zendejas. No call. Smith still with it. Winds up, takes his shot, and almost takes off Scott's head. But he had the right idea. And over to Turgeon. Turgeon, near circle. The captain to the slot. Takes his shot. Too much traffic in front. The rebound. He picks it up. Takes another shot. And a save by Scott. He'll hold on as they're peppering this goaltender with 2.42 left here in the first period, one nothing Whalers. A lot of time spent in the zone on that man advantage, however, nothing to show for it, just a whole lot of passing around. A couple good scoring opportunities, a lot of confusion amongst the players running into each other, but you know, that power play's gotta, it's gotta improve. There's, it's gotta there's, ignite there's no doubt about that whatsoever. Look at the chances the Patriots went running in on goal. Parker, Parker will find it again in the far circle. Parker dropping it down there for, I believe that was um, Piccarilli. Piccarilli doing some behind the scenes stuff and he's gonna get caught for that. So Piccarilli did get clipped in the circle but then he went for the retaliation. And he always gets the retaliation. Yep. I was surprised to see in that man advantage they didn't run with power play line number one. Yeah. They didn't start with oh, no, they changed Smith it up. I forgot Gross. to tell you and I forgot to plug in the oh. game. There oh, was unbelievable. Uh, changes in the power play strategy. I forgot to mention it. I'm such a bad person. Uh, we, we didn't want to let the secrets out there in case uh, Hampton Rose was watching, uh, you know, the coach yeah. staff. Or oh, is that, I any of the fans that, that. get a direct line for interference. Time of the penalty, 17:35. That fall Patriots back. penalty to number 22, Mike Piccarelli. Two minutes for interference at 17:35. Pouliot almost taking out a few heads in his own bench. A few people having to do the chicken dance to avoid Oh, he's got to take that. this one out of the queue, too. Uh, <laughs> 145 left on Piccarelli's penalty. A 210 left here in the first. Whalers have a 1-0 lead on your Potomac Patriots. Once again, these two teams will face off tomorrow morning at approximately 12 noon. So tune in for that here on CrossIceFeed.com. This one's sent down the length of the ice into the Patriots zone. Grace and Rooney back there to chase it. Sending it up to the blue line, deflected through, but not all the way down the length of the ice. It was Christian Parker that got a stick on that one. Florier with it for the Whalers. Along the far side for Kolkasi. Kolkasi putting it in deep. Bagfell to get there first, sending it around the horn. And that out kept up the blue line by Florier over the half boards, but cleared down by Joe, Joe Harding. And Scott 
Yeah, he came out quite a bit there. It's no panic, no panic. Matthew Kolkowski is coming to the rescue for you. 90 seconds left here in the first. 105 left on Piccarelli's penalty. And it's Brissett with it now. Brissett along the half boards, far side. And he's bumped there by Rooney. He'll drop the puck back for Snyder as he comes up top. A bigger part than that was Snyder this time. And I believe that was Haynes with it down low. Send him. Now here comes a shorthanded chance. Christian Parker coming in on one-on-one -on -one with Woods. Comes and takes a shot. And oh, what a save by Scott. He had to come up high on that one. And Scott went down early, caught him up. Ritter on the cage. And Cameron Snyder getting taken out there, but he'll still maintain control of the puck. So we have 55 seconds left here in the first. 28 seconds left on Piccarelli's penalty. We're set with it. Along the half boards near side. Snyder back up top, Cornfield. Opposite side, and Woods breaks Wood, and he'll have to go get another twig. And Snyder behind the goal line, up top to Cornfield. Right now, the Whalers are short one because of the stick issue. Snyder trying to get the backdoor feed to Brissett, but nobody home. And Zendejas getting checked off the puck, but he'll come back up top to Woods. Woods with a nice shot save. and a deflected through, and a great glove save by Yutzler. 24.5 left here in the first. Yutzler seeing even the bouncing ones that come through. Hampton Rose, they cycle that puck so well. It's just one pass after another that just is tape to tape. Ideal situation for a man advantage, but uh, Alec Yetzler keeping the game one nothing, And we're tied in shots. Eight to eight. And yeah, that's no, not eight. eight to nine. So. <laughs> but still, it's not three like last no, week. No, no. <laughs> yeah, last week it was it was pretty bad, but at least this time they're they're putting some pressure on their opponent. I think they, um, yeah, they really got it together during practice this week, I'm sure. Pesic keeping it in for the Whalers. And they're chasing it down is Gillette. Gillette putting it down deep and then picking it up. He's number eight. And that was, uh, did we say that was Mickles? Mickles? I believe so. Yeah, okay. We're trying to discern between the two. And that'll do it for the first period. I got caught up on who was that? Number eight, Haynes, okay. So 15 minutes on the intermission clock as we conclude the first period. The Whalers are up on the Patriots. 1-0. Oh, for Pot Potomac Patriots. The crowd is alive and well. And they are anticipating a hard-fought second and third period but the second period is at hand here do you think that the crowd is kind of thin during these intermissions because it's so cold in this rink <laughs> yeah welcome back mr shrimp fancy that it's a nice arena but <laughs> man alive maybe because yeah. i'm sick yeah probably you know you, you you're probably deal with it worse than most in this uh in this establishment I'm gonna rock so. that heat on the way home it's gonna yeah. be a beautiful thing now you gotta come back tomorrow. Yeah, let's let's take six hours again. off and do it over again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a reminder: tomorrow morning, 9:30 game time. Empire Hockey, Patriots, Whalers doing it again in EJHL South right around noon time. So tune on in. So we have a false start right off the draw. Uh oh, and we have that coach giving a slash. Is that a laser signal. puck? <laughs> laser puck. Send it back. <laughs> Man, 1997? Six. 96, thank you. Now, and here comes a chance now, breaking across the line. Are the Whalers. A chance there for Mickles, but... Oh, oh wow! And Woods just destroys Pouliot. Oh, Mr. Pouliot. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. As it goes off, Mickles in the far corner, trying to center it to somebody in the slot, but... Take Turgeon. that one out of the queue for me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, man, you are so hypercritical tonight. <laughs> center, center. Gets Whipper looking to set it up front, and it's going to be kept up by Hannon. Hannon looking for an opportunity as he puts it down low behind the goal. And it'll be Pouliot. He's still waking up after that hit. Rempe trying to feed it between his feet. Nice keep in there. Tight at the blue line. Well done, sir. Whipper gets tripped up, and we will have a call. I'm calling the trip. Hey, I'm gonna get really? This one. Are you sure it's not interference? Well, we'll see. <laughs> a high stick. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, it's a trip. Oh, I thought I thought you were serious with that high stick. No, we are just messing Maloney. with you, Mr. Shrem. So we have the second power play unit out there at this point in time. Yes, is that is that what I'm gathering from your hidden information, Mr. Stearns? Is this the second power play unit? No, this is the first unit. Don't worry. Oh, okay. They just move people around. Fair enough. 
Hampton Roads penalty to number 15, Dylan Woods. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 49 seconds. Reese with it, near circle, cross ice feed to the shot. Oh man, what a save by Scott. Kept in there by the Patriots. What a save by Scott. Great Scott. Great Scott indeed. Turgeon, far circle, trying to work its way to the front. Turgeon switching places now with Carr. Turgeon back down to Carr. Back over to Turgeon along the hash marks far side. And a cross ice pass over to Reese. Reese wins up, shoots, scores! Oh, Reese's pieces, they've tied it. One to one. What a cross ice pass that was. Reese was wide open to the right side of the goaltender and he went short side. He went through the smallest of cracks that only a Reese's Pieces could fit into. Exactly. He found the net. Do you feel like a, a, a sense of confidence from this power play unit compared to last game? I mean, they're actually keeping the puck inside the zone, they cycling it, it well. They got it. Man. They have it. You could see it. They have that vision out there. Yep. And Turgeon finding Reese like that is great. DC DJ's power play goal, his first goal of the season by number 98, Travis Reese. Assisted by number 10, Andrew Turgeon. And by number 52, Mikey Carr. Boy, those three have seen a lot of time with this Patriots organization. And there's a tackle up at the blue line, no call. Look at that Cameron Smith getting just brutally beaten down. And there's a chance. Kanemitsu throwing it to the front. And steered aside by Yutzler. Gregory trying to find Smith through the neutral zone. Cornfield trying to stay ahead of Smith, and Smith staying on him, but Cornfield will win out that draw for the puck and send it up along the near boards to Brissett. <coughs> Blocked up at the blue line. And and it's going to be in more neutral zone back and forth at this point. Cornfield finds Brissett. Brissett coming across the Patriots line. He loses his footing. I don't know if he, he didn't touch him. I, I'm going to actually agree with it. <laughs> Parker just kind of tapped, but I don't think he actually took him down, did he, Mr. Shrimps? Uh, he sold it well, if yeah. anything. Exactly. Thank you, four non-blondes. <laughs> What is going on, Stern? 17:33. I, I don't know. <laughs> Left in the second period, 1-1, one, 9-9 one, nine, nine in shots, evenly matched. Yes, got to kill off another one though. And here's Potomac the penalty to number 44, Christian Parker. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 2:27. <laughs> That's Patriots penalty like to number crowd. 44, Christian Parker. We have a lively crowd next to us. Whalers controlling the play inside the Patriots zone, up top to Brissett. Set. Takes a shot, brings it up top, gives it over to Woods, near circle. Woods taking a shot, deflected away from the net by, I believe, Yetzler got a piece of that one. So it comes up to the far point, Cornfield. And he's working it back and forth with the cycle, and I believe that is Schneider. Cornfield through to Yetzler. Save. save as there was plenty of traffic looking for a deflection up front, but it does not go through. Man, they gotta, they gotta clear that traffic in front of Yetzler. <laughs> They're gonna get burned by a deflection or, or a screenshot or something here. They, they gotta get a body on someone, get Rempy out there and just clear the lane. And Harding will take the face off for the Patriots and it's lost over to the Whalers. And moving it along, Snyder takes his shot and we've Hannon got in front of that one. Cornfield back over to Snyder. Snyder winds up, takes his shot and it goes off the side of the net but it looked like it was going right in. And a little open lane. Cornfield over the near side of Woods, deflected through by Rempe. Yutzler's got it, and now he loses it, and it, it's fished off to the near side. Woods with one minute on the power play for the Whalers. Hannon deflected it through, and Snyder will pick it up. Snyder with the puck now, and the cross ice pass over to Woods, back over to Snyder. Snyder, far circle, takes a shot, and it's blocked up front by Hannon, using that size to his advantage as the Patriots clear it out. Hannon giving a little shove there to Cameron ticks. Snyder. So we have 40 seconds left on the penalty to Parker. Snyder over to Brissett. Brissett walking into the slot, and he gets taken care of by Gregory and Hannon combined. He still has the puck, though, as he drops it back for Snyder. Hannon around the back pass does not make its way out as Cornfield traps it up at the blue line. Walking it over to the near side, Woods. Back over to Cornfield. Cornfield having trouble setting up the shot. He does get it through as it goes wide. Snyder picking it up behind the cage. Takes it over to the far corner. Up top, Cornfield with it. Taking a look, looking for a lane. Fakes a shot down low. Woods taking it through. Yutzler to save, and the rebound just gets pushed off to the side. Three seconds left. Cornfield 
Back over to Snyder. Snyder with a shot. He scores. And the Whalers make it through. Rempe is very upset with Woods as Woods is pushing his way around in the blue paint. Just like that, the Whalers regain their lead 2-1 to one with 15-31 left in the second period. It's an even strength goal. You know what, Rumpy can be upset all he wants to. It's his man that just caused that goal to go in. And time and time again, you have to use that big body, especially his big frame, to knock that player out of there. There was no reason that goal should have gone in. It was a, it was a shot taken practically from Snyder's knees. Yeah. Uh, now Whipper. Oh. Cameron Snyder. Uh, assisted by number 13, Scott Cornfield. Time of the goal, 429. That's Hampton Rhodes goal, his second of the okay. season. So there you have it. And a whipper. Moving to the front, backhand shot. The rebound, oh, and it just gets oh. shot wide into the near corner. And being shoved around and shoved into the net. Well, yeah, they're going to uh, maybe toss some Mickles into the box here. I mean, Pouliot was defenseless. He was already down on the ice and got shoved into the net. But uh, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I ain't consistent with this officiating tonight. <laughs> so what's, what's the call? <laughs> Nothing. The that was off. Just yeah. Face off to the right huh. of Scott. <laughs> Whipper trying to find that face off as it goes through into the corner. Right behind the goal, but going to be let out by the Whalers. Number 17, Taylor Pash. Taylor Pash over in the near corner of the Patriots zone. Leaving it there for number 25, Ravisky. Ravisky is getting... Beaten up there, I believe that's Ravisky. Oh, there's yeah. a cross check. Here comes a Here we fight, go. if anything. Yeah, we are going to get a fight. Oh, oh it's Stearns. There, no, that, uh, Nelson is letting them go, but yet the gloves have not been dropped by the Hampton Roads player, so we're not going to call a fight on that. Unfortunately, I think that's Rooney, and I think he's going to be sitting for five. And I think Ravisky. Could be a five and two? I think so, unfortunately. The gloves were never dropped. If anything, they're going to say that he just got mugged. Ravisky drew that. We get an oh. instigator of some kind here. Or? I, I, because he threw the gloves, I think they're going to toss the fighting his way. Maybe a roughing penalty to Ravisky or nothing at all. Oh, they're tossing him. Yeah. Okay, Ravisky is gone. Not sure what for yet. Didn't see what happened. But you're right though. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't drop any of his equipment. Nope. They must have seen something that we didn't. Go to the replay. <laughs> you know, where is John Baranowski? <laughs> Baranowski, if you're listening, we need you to hook up our repay, uh, replay equipment. <laughs> we need him between it's the glass. Possible. Yeah, we need him between the glass to get this uh, information. He will be coming down and replacing Brian Schrems for a weekend in November. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, you're being replaced for a weekend. Wait, wait. I got a $59 flight to Florida. No. Boo-hoo. What can I say? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So good. We got the formal invite on that. Oktoberfest it is. Oktoberfest it is. Well, folks. I'm, cu I'm curious to see if they, <laughs> they can give us a little insight as to what's going on here because... The player that you would anticipate being thrown out for was just not thrown bugging. out. He was just tossed into the box. Yeah. And then the player that shouldn't have been thrown out is off the ice, essentially. Yeah. Funny how that works. Well, like us on Facebook, folks. We have a Facebook page. This is Cross Ice Feed. Look us up. Hip to the time. We are hip to the time. We got rid of that MySpace page. Oh, Rooney is being tossed, by the way, as uh, we see here. He's coming across and. Uh, he will be kind of figure that was coming going to the dressing room. Huh. Interesting turn of events. Now that November series will be the Philadelphia Jackals coming to town. It's going to be an exhibition couple of games. So my old broadcast partner, John Baranowski, who got me started in the biz, he will be joining me here in the booth. Are we going to get the final readouts or what? <laughs> I'm wasting time. Dragnet theme is Come on, we got to go home so we can do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Are you complaining? No, I'm cold. Oh, okay. By the way, follow us on Twitter. Cross Ice Feed is our handle. Told me this was roller hockey. Facebook and Twitter. Like us and follow us. 
because we don't know where we're going. You know who I'm following on Facebook? Who? Pro Beach Hockey. Remember ESPN2 from like 1999? Here are the penalties. Game on. Hampton Roads, number 25, Archer Ravieski. Five minutes for fighting, a game misconduct, and a second game misconduct for grabbing the face mask. Whoa. Potomac's wow. number 15, Grayson Rooney. Five minutes for fighting, a game misconduct, and a game misconduct for grabbing the face mask. All penalties come at 517. So lesson here is take off the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you won't get another game misconduct. Ooh, no, there look it there. Wow. Marks and the back referee, I believe, got that call. Good he call. Was airborne. Sterling missed it. Harrington got it. <laughs> airborne. What a hook. Yeah, man, that went down in dramatic, dramatic fashion. So he's tossed for tomorrow. Both players tossed for tomorrow's game. Yes. Is that the, is that the yep. verdict here? Yes, indeedy. We will not be seeing either of those players tomorrow. Rooney or Ravieski. And a face off coming up to the right of Scott. In Cullet, two minutes for hooking. Time of the penalty, 534. That's Whaler's penalty to number 20 in Cullet. Two minutes for hooking at 534 for a Metro DC DJ's power play. Reese coming in on goal, dropping it off in a slot, and he lost it to Snyder. Had the right idea, he but was coast wrong coast. player. I know, it was nice. A little bit of Gretzky there. 14 minutes left here in the second period. Whalers are up 2-1, to one, and we have a minute and 30 on a Metro DC DJ's power play. Check them out at MetroDCDJs.com. And it's Smith with Carr along the far side, up top, cycling at Turgeon and Carr. And Carr and Turgeon back at it again. Turgeon looking for an opening here. He'll find it up at the point as he goes to Bagfeld. Bagfeld tight at the blue line, not deep enough, not hard enough, but Turgeon's going to try to fight to keep, keep it active, and he does so for the Patriots inside the Whaler zone. Great work, Captain. Up front, Smith the shot, and a save by Scott. Great Scott, wow, great save, hit. and a hit on Smith has sent him flying. Oh, baby. Great Scott, great hit. My goodness. Beautiful wow. pass from from Turgeon in the corner to Smith. Put it right on his stick, but it wasn't able to bury it, and then Smith got buried himself. Oh, my goodness. Yikes. <laughs> 57 seconds left on the power play. Face off to the left of Scott. Face off won by the Patriots over to McDonald. McDonald over along the near side. Down over to Whipper. Whipper up top to McDonald. McDonald over to the opposite side. With a shot there from Gross that just goes wide. And it comes all the way out into the neutral zone. McDonald's going to chase. 40 seconds left on the power play. Gross over to the near side. Cross ice pass over to Whipper. Whipper across the blue line. Over to the half boards near side. And he gets crunched from behind into the boards. He goes down. And the Whalers send it up and out. And it's Brissett that will send it down the length of the ice to Yutzler. 12.50 left here in a second. 23 seconds left on the power play. Whalers up 2-1. to one. 14 to 12 in shots. The Whalers have the slight edge there, as well as the goals. Now Whipper. And having it poked away from him by Kanemitsu just for a second. It'll be Gross that'll carry on. Gross. And then leaving it there. For Marks. Marks looking for an option. Sends it up top to Gross, and we're back to five aside hockey. Unbeknownst to Gross up top of the uh, blue line with the puck. And Marks with it. Behind the back, down low for Whipper, but Kanemitsu's going to get there first. Kanemitsu gets taken out by Whipper. Marks taking care of his man, but it's going to be Kanemitsu that's going to walk away with the puck. Not out, up at the blue line. Rempe keeping it in there. Sending it over to half boards near side, or far side, beg your pardon. And oh, and a hard check there on Piccarilli. Left his feet, and though. And Kanemitsu jumped into him. And coming across the line into the Patriots zone are the Whalers with a soft shot. They get steered aside easily by Yutzler. And it's you know, the Whalers still gaining control here. And Brissett trying to set up a pass for Kanemitsu in a slot, but it comes up to the point to Neighbor on the far side. He's going to go all the way back behind the goal line. Up front, it squeezed its way through. It'll be Whipper that'll pick it up. Matt Whipper is going to put it high into the air and into the near corner of the Whalers zone going off in a change. Wholesale change for the Patriots. And retreating his neighbor. Roger Harding almost chopped his stick in half, but this one's kept in at the blue line nicely by Piccarelli, or Hannon, I beg your pardon, taking a shot, and it gets steered off to the side. Rempe, up to the near side, takes his shot from the point, and gets blocked by the Whalers. And coming back the other way is Pash. Pash getting chopped up by Gregory, and Gregory's going to get called for a chop on that. So he will get a Yikes. slashing call. 
11-10 left here in a second. 2-1 Whalers. Whalers are going to have a power play. You know, despite yeah. the power plays tonight for Hampton Roads, and they've done well keeping the puck inside the zone. They haven't been able to put one in with a man advantage. And uh, maybe a testament to the Patriots and their penalty killing. Yeah, 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 I guess. We've yeah. seen them get burned on the man advantage or with a with a man in the box before. So Only penalty to number 71, Sean Gregory. Two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 8.50. That's Patriot. Oh, I heard that one. <laughs> this one comes up along the near side, and Kanemitsu will strip it away, and he'll send it back deep into his zone, back over to Florian. <coughs> I'm probably mispronouncing that guy's name the entire time. It's probably Floria, but um, yeah, we'll just go with that. Kanemitsu trying to work his way into the slot, take a shot, but it's cleared away with 90 ticks left on Gregory's penalty. Floria. And he sends oh, it up ahead. Nice hit there on Kanemitsu. Knee, though. It was close. Floria with it now. Floria up along the half boards near side inside the Patriots zone. Centering it up to the front and deflected off the side of the net. Yeltsler holding his post. This one sent down the length of the ice by Ian Edgington. All the way down to Scott. Scott sending the pass all the way up. He misses all of his players. It'll be over to Edgington again, who will send it right down the same lane, and Scott's going to do it all over again. And now, this time, he'll leave it for leave it for his defender. <laughs> <laughs> Better to go that route. <laughs> now Woods, taking his time, setting things up, leaving it there for Cameron Schneider. He's got a little jersey flow going on here. Look at that, Gretzky-esque, <laughs> as he pops. Yeah, it looked like Mikey Carr in the process while he went in and made the dump in. 33 seconds left on the minor to Gregory. And oh, Carr gets got dunked over by Woods with an elbow. Oh, my Woods goodness. Woods is just throwing his weight around right now. And Silent anticipation around here as these hits are being thrown. It's no wonder we can hear every single one of them. This one's iced down by the Whalers. Or maybe not. Or not. Yeah, he got it. Well, taking their sweet old time on blowing that one down. 12 seconds left on the minor to Gregory. The coaching staff is not thrilled that it took that long to blow that icing down. I, I actually agree with them on this. No, you, no it, it's true. This it's no touch icing. Yeah. It should have been called. Yeah. This is why we should have a two-line system, but... Um, not to yeah. be. Yeah. Is this college hockey? Yeah, it's one off into the far corner and back over to Woods behind his own goal. That whipper out there, putting on a little pressure. Turgeon and Hannon. Uh oh, here comes a chance now. Cornfield walking in and setting up a shot there for Zendejas. Just goes wide. This can be kept in by Schneider. Throws it up to the front, and Cornfield picking it up along the far half boards. We're back to five aside hockey. And Hannon throwing the body around. And that was Pooley out, I beg your pardon. And now Hannon's back there. And it's loose up front. Snyder looking up top. They're still playing like they're uh, on the power play here. You know, Woods has it. Sending it down low into the near corner. Trying to work his way to Zendejas. And dropping it back. Over to Brissett. Brissett walking up front, taking a shot. It just goes wide. He had Yutzler down and everything. And the Whalers controlling things now. Cameron Snyder down to Brissett. Brissett over to Woods. Woods winds up, takes a shot. Great save by Yutzler. As he gets steered off to the far side. Time Boy. to clear that puck, gentlemen. Definitely time to clear the puck. They're just getting walked all over. And Woods, back behind the goal, throws it up front. Tries to hook up with Snyder, and here comes a chance now. Two on one, Schne it's Turgeon with Whipper. Whipper across the blue line. Whipper, ah, couldn't drag it waited through the man. Long. He waited too long, definitely, as Cornfield was in the way. Turgeon trying to keep the puck active inside the Whalers zone. And oh, Turgeon goes directly into the goal. He's going to get called for goaltender interference. Not sure how. He uh, he fell into him. or I don't he know. Get up. I'm thinking Blake uh, had something to do with that one. Oh, boy. Well, if you take a look at the bench, they are going absolutely bananas. Yeah, Turgeon, Turgeon in, in his defense, was nowhere near. Nowhere near the goaltender, Blake Scott. Wow. Oh, Coach Ziegler is fired up. Yeah, and, he, and I, I think he has every right to be in this one. All right, Jared Brownski from Metro DC DJs, please, um, please put the microphone there so I can hear. 
Metro DC and DJs. Sleep out what you can at MetroDCDJs.com. Coach RJ Ziegler, or Coach RJ Ziegler, getting a little uh, heated. Don't want to see him get tossed. Got to no, keep himself in check. No, we don't. So just like that. Full make penalty to number 10, Andrew Turgeon. Two minutes for goaltender interference. Time of the penalty, 12-14. Yeah, I knew the call was going to go that way, but uh, other factors were not considered when the referee threw his arm up. So seven and a half left here in a second. And there's 140 left in Turgeon's penalty. And Don't take Taylor's a stupid retaliation one. penalty. Don't get a heated penalty here. Kokasi, another, another top of the point. Kanemitsu will get a return pass. But Kokasi winds up, takes a, a shot. Yutzler to save it. He'll snag it down and hold on with... 126 left on Turgeon's minor penalty for goaltender interference or being interfered with to interfere with the goaltender. <laughs> I However think you that's more of the appropriate way we can word that one. However you want to call it. But they got to take a stand here. They got to make this kill a good one because they've been on their heels for the past three or four minutes. And it's sent up top, Cornfield. Cornfield over the opposite side. Snyder. Snyder walks and takes a shot. Yutzler to save the rebound. Swept away by Gross. There was a second shot down low. But it'll be Alex Gross that'll send it down the length of the ice. And Woods and Gross. Going toe to toe, but it'll be Brissett who walks out with it along the right wing. Brissett going down to the far corner inside the Patriots zone, curling over through. And sending it up to the front as he came over to the near side. Cornfield has it at the far point. Cornfield over to Snyder. Snyder back over to Zendejas who winds up, takes a shot behind the back, and it was Brissett that couldn't slam it home as it went wide. Woods with it, keeping it active for the Whalers. 40 seconds on Turgeon's penalty. Six and a quarter left here in a second. 2-1 Whalers. Woods takes a shot, and a great save by Yutzler, and here comes a breakaway chance if Gross can hurry up, and Not Snyder's got a little too much speed. He doesn't have the speed that Snyder's oh. got. I mean, grossy has got the size, but Man, that Snyder guy, he's got a lot of that speed, and that, he's tiny. <laughs> Sendejas coming in, near circle, on his backhand, to his forehand, looks up, finds Snyder in the slot with a shot, he scores. So a power play goal, 5.59 left here in the second. The Whalers open their lead to a two-goal lead at 3-1. to one. Yeah, you knew, you knew that one was coming. It's, it's, it's been a trend here for the past five or six minutes this team has been playing. Even when they were even strength, the Patriots have been playing like they've been a man down, and you can't leave a guy open in the slot like that. He's going to bury it nine times out of ten. Alex Yetzler, Alec Yetzler can only do so much. And I think... Now we have an issue going on behind the bench. We'll keep you updated on this. Uh, we may have an injured player to speak of. Goal, scoring his second goal of the season, number 15, Dylan Wood. Whoa, baby. Assisted by number seven, Matt Zendejas, and by number 22, Alex Brissett. Time of the goal, 14.01. I think we're going to get a slash what here. was all of that down there? That <laughs> I think we're going to get a slash. Uh, maybe. A neighbor's going to sit for two. A lot of activity down low. And it looks like somebody is injured back there. We're trying to figure out who it is. I'm not seeing, not seeing Mikey Carr is my guess here. We'll find out. No cars on the bench, so I, I'm wrong. I do apologize. Oh, maybe not. That no, I see. Smith. I can't see who it is. No, that's Moyer. That's Moyer. So, no, but uh, there's an injured player that did go to the locker room. So we'll find out. The Metro DC DJ's power play. Number Here we go. five, Bunny Neighbor, two minutes for holding. Time of the penalty, 14-10. That's Hart Hampton Road's penalty to number five, Bunny Neighbor, two minutes for holding at 14-10. For so here we go, up top, Gross, having a little trouble handling it though, it goes over to Marks. Marks, back over to Gross, Gross at the top, looking for Lane, takes a shot, SCORE! Shoot the puck! Shoot the puck, Mr. Gross, and you will get yourself a goal. It's three to two. They cut the lead on a power play goal. I'm going to dig into your coat pocket and, and take out that big book of cliches. Shoot the puck and good things will happen. And man alive, that's a, a wicked wrister from the point there from Alex Gross. I don't think it was deflected. I think that went right in. That was a straight shot, yep. Quick work of that power play. Yeah. You're quick on that one with a shoot the puck. <laughs> Caught you off guard. Yeah, you did, and I was going to give a giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> Next time. 
Jay's power play goal, scoring his first goal of the season, number 51, Alex Gross. Assisted by number 19, Nathan Marks. Time of the goal, 14.34. So, Bagfield coming across the line. He got it along the near side, working it down to pull out, pull out, back over to Bagfield. Belt. Bagfield putting it to the front, nobody there to grab it. And here comes a breakaway chance now for Kokasi. Kokasi coming and taking the shot. Nice Great save, save Yetzler. Getting in front of that one. And a lot of physical stuff going on behind the play here. Bagfeld, he's got to keep uh, a cool head here because, you know, he's one of those guys that can lose it, if you will. And now we're calling for a trip. But Turgeon trying to take a shot, and he gets dumped off into the boards, and we're going to have a call. Harrington's got his arm up, and the fans are going crazy. This game is getting chippy. It is, to say the least. Yeah. I mean, the, the bodies are flying. We saw a pseudo fight, I, if, if you could call it that. I'm waiting for let the bodies hit the floor. Oh, no, I played. hope he doesn't do it. Brissett is going to sit for two. 4.36 left here in the second. Patriots are down 3-2. to two. But they go back on the Metro DC DJ's power play. Check out MetroDCDJs.com for more details. Hampton Roads penalty to number 22, Alex Brissett. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 15-24. Alex Brissett sitting for two. It's, it's 4.20 now left here in a second. 1.45 left on Brissett's penalty. And now it's Zendejas returning back into his own zone as Cornfield sets it up all the way down into the near corner and back over to Yutzler, who's back there to retrieve it for Reese. Reese dropping it back behind him for Rempe. Rempe moving the puck along over the right wing here for Gregory. Gregory along the near side, sending it all the way around over to Smith. Smith missed the puck, but Turgeon will pick it up. Turgeon looking for Reese in the slot. Reese comes in, brings it to his forehand. Oh, and it's a great save by Scott yet again. Now Snyder coming back the other way for the Whalers. Snyder looking for an option, but it's deflected through to Turgeon. Turgeon getting pressured by Zendejas. Zendejas pushing him over. I don't know if that was a cross check or not, but it, just the way his fist went in. I'm not going to judge here. Reese dropping it off for Gregory. Gregory with a shot and a stick save by Scott. Rempe picking up the rebound far corner. Rempe looking for options. Trying to get it over to Smith, but it's going to go over to Turgeon up top. Back over to Smith. Far side. Smith looking for options now as he goes down behind the goal line. Smith behind the, behind the cage. He's looking. He's got here on the near side. Just a lot of cycling, a lot of moving on the perimeter. Nothing going towards the net. Here comes a chance. Gregory with a shot, and it just goes wide. Turgeon picking up the rebound. Off in the near corner. The backhand pass that gets deflected down the length. And now it's going to be Cameron Snyder chasing it. 24 seconds left on the penalty. And it's a chance now that he just blew there as Turgeon picked his pocket. And I nice. see down the ice. This one's going to come back in icing on a power play. With 2.52 left here in a second. 16 seconds left on Brissett's penalty. Faceoff coming up to the right of Yutzler as the Patriots are down 3-2. It's been a pretty interesting period. Uh, I'll say. <laughs> Man. We haven't seen this kind of excitement since week, since week one. Yeah. East Coast Eagles seems so long ago, did it not? I know it, I know it. We're going to find out who's going to take this face off. They're going to drop it without Turgeon getting in there if he doesn't get in there anytime soon. But Kokasi loses it to Turgeon. Rempe with it. Going to get back behind the cage to Reese. Travis Reese. He had a goal in this one. Just before Gross's goal. Reese gaining speed. Coming in. Walks in. Takes shot. Scores! Coast to coast. Travis Reese lights up Scott, and he's just tied the game on the power play. Wow, I haven't seen anything like that since Gretzky. Holy smokes. Holy jumping start. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What did we just see? Oh, it's man. It's called a man on a mission. <laughs> man on a mission, and it's a power play goal. Wow. They are, they are back in this game. Holy smokes. Woo! Wowza. So just like that, Travis Reese really knows how to turn a game around. Ah, he, ah, man. Here we go. It's Metro DC DJ's power play goal, scoring his second goal of the game and season, number 98, Travis Reese. Unassisted. Time of the goal, 17-23. Oh, man, so Travis Reese, second goal of the game, second goal of the season for him on the power play here. 
Now Piccarelli trying to get it. He's getting a uh, little trouble from Cornfield, but yeah, Cornfield roughed up still. And it's sent up to the blue line. Not out, kicked over to the near side, but it'll be chased down by Neighbor. Neighbor winds up, puts it right into the crest of Yutzler, and he'll hold on. 1.56 left here in a second. We're all tied up at three. Thanks to Travis Reese. What, what, oh, why, what can you say? I mean, <laughs> There's that's, not much you can say. You know, he, he was one of two standout players in my eyes last week, and yeah. despite, despite them getting pushed around a little bit, and uh, that was well-deserved. This is, this he, is an instance where those players need to step up, and, and, and Travis Reese has done so this game. Puglia sending it around over to the near side, kept in up the blue line by Woods. Woods gets checked by Terjan. And Terjan looking oh. for the pass there, but it bounces over his stick and will come back for an icing. 136 left here in the second. What I like about you is liking us on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com and find us. Cross Ice Feed, check out our page and give us the thumbs up. Or you can follow us on Twitter. Our handle is Cross Ice Feed. <laughs> yeah, he went there. And I liked it. <laughs> Comes up to the far side, and it's Kirby Wood sending it to the front. Zendejas trying to find it. Is a, he kind of did a little twirl there, but couldn't find the puck while he was spinning. Whipper coming across the line, and a backhand try there. Tamer Hannon almost had a chance. Turgeon to the front, and it's deflected away by Mickles. It's sent down low behind the goal line. Whipper with it now for the Patriots. Looking for an option up top to the point to Hannon with a shot. And it gets deflected wide. Scott will find it. He's trying to hold on to it. And he will finally get it as there's some pushing and shoving. And Pouliot getting shoved around back and forth. But he's fine. He'll, he'll cool down. And the referee says cooler head shell prevail as we have 104 left here in a second. 3-3 three, three score between the Patriots and the Whalers. Well, we got two entertaining games tonight, didn't oh, we? Oh, we did. That our money's worth. Well, unfortunately, the Patriots ended up on a raw end of a deal. They lost 5-4 in overtime in the previous game for the Empire. Well, they're still looking for their first win, unfortunately. Kept in by the Patriots. One minute left. Here comes a chance now for Smith with a shot. Oh, he just misses the blocker side of the net. He might have clipped that upper post. And comes over to the near side. Pass well out of the reach of Mickles. And he goes back into the Whalers zone. Back to Chase is Cornfield. Dropping it behind him. Over to Neighbor. Mickles through center. Over to Kanemitsu. Kanemitsu having trouble with it. As Smith picks his pocket. Smith coming across the line. Marks got taken down hard from behind. But Smith comes and takes a shot and a save by Scott. And we're going to have a delayed call here with 28.5 left here. Don't blow it, second. Rempe. Rempe. Walk out of there, Rempe. And don't get too quick on that cue for a power play music here because there may be something else coming. Oh, they're still going. Still going. A lot of chatter, but not a lot of action, which is okay. Oh, Rempe's skating towards the box. And no, he's going to detour. Go to the bench instead. Yeah. Good choice, Rempe. <laughs> Good choice, indeed. Kane Mitsu will sit for two. <laughs> Neighbor's got to watch himself. Rumpy's got about 50 pounds and <laughs> two feet, four <laughs> inches on himself. So that's not going to be the guy you want to pick on while you're out there. Nope. Uh, and looks like we're trying to get some last-minute people on the ice. And Could they take the lead before the intermission here? We Camping off the wildest period that we've seen this season. Hampton Roads penalty to number 21, Clayton Kanemitsu. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 1931. Oh, wow. Smith with a shot and Scott with a save. Wowie. <laughs> Scott made the right decision on that one. He had a choice. He had he Smith him. or he had the guy standing to the right of Smith. Yep, he followed him. And then right into the glove. Quad City DJs, there it is, folks. All right. Two times in a month. Yep. <laughs> now the Patriots can't keep it in there as it's sent down the ice by the Whalers to Bagfell. Bagfell. Looking with a hard, crisp pass over to Smith, but it goes out of his reach. But I think that'll just about do it as they kill some time here as the time runs out on the second period. Ladies and gentlemen, we are tied at three going into the dressing room with 20 minutes left to play and 132 left on a power. 2013 Potomac Patriots. Shrems, are you ready for this? I don't know. We 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 haven't called a nail biter like this in a long, long time. Oh then we get God. two in one night. I know. Well, we yeah, <laughs> that's true. 
Well, last week's 2-1 to one loss uh, against Atlanta was pretty exciting. I mean, it came down to the end, and there it was did. some great it opportunities did. finishing out that contest. But but these teams are evenly matched yeah, throughout. They are. They're not clawing their way back into a game. They took control and got the job done. And Ladies and gentlemen, on the Patriots' third goal, scored by number 98, Travis Reese, and assist to number 55, John Rempe, and to number 10, Andrew Turgeon. So Turgeon getting some uh, some love. On Finally the score back sheet. on the score yeah, sheet. Right. Nathan Marks got it in that first goal. We haven't yeah. called his name since week one when he had True. two. He had two goals in that, yeah. And that uh, second game against the East Coast Eagles. Yep. So here we go, folks. Benches it. are ready. We're ready. Fans are ready. Third period action. And the Patriots win the faceoff. Piccarelli along the left side. Piccarelli stopping off in the near corner. They have a power play for the next minute and 24 seconds. We're all tied up at three. Down low, back behind the goal line, Marks. Marks looking, finds McDonald with a one-time shot and it just gets deflected wide. And it's Whipper with it now. Along the far circle, down low. Marks looking for an option, plays it off the net, over to Gross. Gross having to play it around. And it's one player that's Kolkasi, and Kolkasi staying in his way. Up top to Gross with a point shot, taken out of the air with a high stick. They weren't even gonna call that, but that's fine. Comes no, along the near no side. reason to call oh, that. All the way back to Yutzla. And it's uh, Bagfelt, or I'm sorry, it's McDonald trying to stop things up. And Bagfelt, uh, McDonald, I'm sorry, we just got distracted there. We do apologize, folks, for that interruption. One minute hidden to this third period. 30 seconds left on the man advantage. And it's up in the far corner, Marks. Trying to dig the puck free, and it's going to be taken away by Zendejas. Up ahead for Snyder. Snyder, far side, being battled into the boards by Rempe. As we have 10 seconds left on the Metro DC DJ's power play. And coming along the near side, Bagfelt is out there now, and he will send it right down to the far corner inside the Whalers zone. We're back to five aside hockey with 8:28 left here, or 18:28 left here in the third period. These guys do not shut their penalty box door and we will get a stoppage of play. Or we're gonna call too many uh, men on the ice? Could be too many men. Oh, they caught him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. There you go, don't you love that? <laughs> Back in the box for two minutes and then uh, a chance to jump up. And if you're hanging out in the arena right now, we're still- Oh, in the VIP the area. VIP yep. area open and selling food and Hanging out up there, it's real nice and it's yeah. heated too. Oh, so. it is. So if you're out here in the crowd with uh, your Ustream uh, feed up on your mobile device, which you can do on your iPads, your smartphones, what have you. It's better than listening game. to nothing. Hampton yep. Rhodes bench minor penalty, two minutes for too many men on the ice. <laughs> Time of the penalty, 1.38. That's Whalers bench minor penalty, two minutes for too many men on the ice. Time of the penalty, 1.38. For another Metro DC DJ. So it's another Metro DC DJ's power play. Check them out at MetroDCDJs.com. And here comes Reese again. Comes and takes a shot. Oh, and he almost beats Scott. Oh, he's looking for the Hattie. And he's doing it in style. This one's sent down the length of the ice. Cleared off by Yutzler over to the near side. Cameron Smith. And trying to move it up. Turgeon, but man, Smith's going to pick it up again. He beats out his man. Smith, the top of the circle, with a little drag and a shot and doesn't make it past. The defender in the way, who was Woods. And Smith and Reese trying to work together down low, but it's going to be Pesic that'll take it. Pesic being challenged by Turgeon. He's sent down over to Woods behind the goal and over to the near side it goes. Not down the length of the ice. Rempe will stop it up at his blue line. That Cameron Smith drag shot through a defender is going to be a staple oh, yeah. in his repertoire. A nice little spin move to get away from his man. As it is Kolkasi. And Kolkasi will get the better of him. But he tries to clear the puck, but Turgeon was there just in the nick of time to keep it in for the Patriots. 45 seconds left on the man advantage. And it's McDonald with it up the top of the far circle. Turgeon over to McDonald with a shot, and it just goes wide to Scott. I don't know if he had a piece of that, but he kicks the net off in the process. We'll have a stoppage of play. 34 seconds left on the man advantage. 16, 56 left here in the third. We're all tied up at three. Power play has looked exceptional yep. tonight. It has. They've yeah. been able to establish themselves inside the zone, cycle it, get good shots on Cole, create some rebounds. Here comes a shot that's just walking in. It was Nathan Mark that just went wide. Comes over to Alex Gross along the near side blue line. Over the half boards, over to Piccarelli. Piccarelli looking, walking in, sending it down low, trying to stuff it as Marks. 
With right on Scott and a save and it's shoveled off to the side of the boards here on the near side. Marks can't keep it in with Gross. So now here comes a cat. Uh, a chance for Kolkasi. Kolkasi coming in, taking oh. a shot. Great glove saved by Yutzler. And they're going to continue play. Seven seconds left on the man advantage. Continues to flash the leather in this game. Gross coming through to the top of the slot. He gets hauled down. No call. He got chopped down with a bunch of timber. But we're not going to have another penalty because I think they felt that they've dished out enough. And then Whipper dragging his way to the front. Takes a shot. It's loose up front on the rebound. Gross will pick it up over to the far half boards. We're back to five side hockey. And the Whalers will clear it out through center. It'll be gloved down and played by Gross. And it'll be picked up by Whipper. I actually think that was a hand pass. But uh, we're going to keep oh. that quiet. And we're going to have a couple of changes for the Patriots as the Whalers come in now. Is it centered with a shot and a save by Yutzler at point blank. Wow. He got in front of that one right in the nick of time. And speaking of time, it's time to mention that you can catch all the replays of this game on Ustream, well, also YouTube, and you can check that out at crossicefeed.com. Click the Archives tab, and you can check out any games that you may have missed here on our page, crossicefeed.com. And also like us on Facebook, because we like to be liked and trends likes friends. That's so nice. Yeah, no problem. It's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> but I'm your friend. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> we need more, folks. <laughs> Woods through center. And then being picked up and moved along by McKill. And it's sent up into the glass and out. Mabry's going to greet it at the red line as he gets greeted with JoJo Harding. And Yutzler dropping it off for Edgington. Edgington trying to find a good out here. But it looks like the Whalers are going to help him out. Send it out into the neutral zone. And it's Woods coming across the line. Near circle. Takes a shot. Scores! Woods picking blocker side on Yutzler on a low percentage shot at that. And just like that, it's 4-3 to three Whalers. Yeah, very low percentage shot, but he beat him clean on that stick side. And no, Alex Yutzler, he's been tremendous in this game. He's got to shake that one off. That was kind of a softy. Yeah, well, he's... Good thing he's got some uh, faith back in his offense yeah. as they have kept pace in this game and you know, still plenty of hockey left to play. Well, it's not 50 shots. It's Scoring not. his second of the game and third of the season, number 15, Dylan Woods. Assisted by number five, Buddy Neighbor. And by number eight, Chris Haynes. Time of the goal, 4.54. Here comes another chance for the Whalers, trying to stuff it out front, but will be picked up by McDonald. McDonald looking through center, finds Turgeon. Turgeon trying to split the D, but the puck's way ahead of him. And it'll be battled for behind the goal line. And trying to work his way with it is Pesig. Pesig trying to work it along for Christopher Morrow, I believe that is. Yeah, Morrow. I believe that is his first shift out yeah, there on the ice. Yeah, we called his name at all tonight. Yeah. And Cooley at hauling down his man. I think he got away with one there. Tamer yes, Hannon putting it up along the wing, trying to hook up there with Whipper. Whipper finishing his check on Morrow. Welcome to the ice, Mr. Morrow, as the shot goes wide. And then Zendeja centering it up over for nice Morrow. Play. And a nice poke away by Whipper. Well done, Whip. And now Zendejas giving it another go. Over to Cannon. And it's over to uh, Kanemitsu. Kanemitsu up at the top of the near circle. Has his pocket picked by Marks. And Whipper trying to set it up ahead, but he's actually going off on a change. He had a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with, I believe that's Cornfield. And that's kept in by the Patriots at the moment. Kanemitsu couldn't love it down. Gross does. He tries to take a shot. Couldn't get it past. It's William time. And 13.35 left here in the third. 4-3, Whalers have the lead. Up front to Gross. Gross trying to drag it through on a shot, trying to get around his man. But and it'll be Reese that'll get hauled down as he tried to turn in with the puck to send it across ice. But it'll be dumped back in to the Whalers zone. Patriots applying a little bit of pressure here right now as the Whalers break out. It goes over to Cornfield along the right wing. Cornfield along the half boards. Feeds it to the front and Rempe. I don't know if he saw Brissette coming, but that was dangerous back checking there. Almost a turnover there, but it resulted in a goal. It was close, that's for sure. Kanemitsu across the blue line into the Patriots zone. And he's going to dump it back into the corner. And trying to hook up with Brissette, but it's actually going to be sent over to Golkasi. Up top to the point, down low. And it's Bagfeld trying to take out his man and try to get a hold of the puck. I think he's more concerned about the man at this point than the puck. 
And he's trying to tra trap him up along the boards. Nathan Marks has his pocket picked as he had it for just a second. He'll get it back and send it along the dasher. Nicely done up ahead for Alex Gross. Gross sticking it down to himself. He's got a chance now. Feeds it to the front and almost hooks up with Cameron Smith. But it went wide of the net. And... Scott will hold on with 12.23 left here in the third period. David Stearns, Brian Shrems, Cross Ice Feed Broadcasting Services here in the D.C. Metro region. For more information, go to crossicefeed.com. Doing pretty good so far. It's, yeah. it's... Well, they're down. I know, but I, I still have confidence. We saw the, the second half of the second period go extremely in their favor. Edgington over to back. The Beckfeld taking a shot. Couldn't find its way through traffic as Zendejas picks it up and oh, sends nice up pass. the pass over and ahead. And a breakaway chance and a nice save by Yetzler. I believe that was Haynes on that shot. And now Edgington's going to take it back the other way. The head full of steam. He's still going through center over the blue line. Takes his shot and it goes oh, past wow. Scott. Scott thought he had it in his glove but just missed the net. A great opportunity. Just shoot that puck, ah. Mr. Edgington. He heard you, Mr. Schrems. <laughs> coach Schrems. Yeah. Get my own segment next week. Teacher and coach. Boy, what don't you do, Mr. <sighs> Teacher, coach, and broadcaster. That's <laughs> Smith doing a little pressure down there in the Whalers zone. The Whalers are going to take it out with Snyder. Snyder trying to dig around Hannon. Puts it on his backhand to the front with a shot. They score. Just like that, the Whalers have a two-goal lead, 5-3, to three, with 11.32 left here in the third period. And a second effort on the initial shot. It does find its way five hole on Yutzla. The initial shot was pretty weak, but the back, the ba uh, I'm sorry, the rebound to the backhand was just enough to get it across the goal line. I think that was Cameron Snyder. I think it was too on that second effort, yeah. And we'll find out from the PA address in just That's a few moments. Not the position they want to find themselves in down two. It's just about half a period left to play, but they need to channel that energy they had in that second half of the second period. There was something about that. Maybe a timeout? Uh, no. I don't know. First goal of the season, number eight, Chris Haynes. Oh, Haynes got it. Assisted by number three, Cameron Snyder. Time of the goal, 8.28. So Snyder's first attempt in the, uh, the rebound popped in by Haynes, yeah. So there you have it. A two-goal lead back again for the Hampton Roads Whalers. And now with it, Patriots back in their own zone. Up along the near side, Alex Gross trying to move it ahead. The pass will play it over through center. And he connects with Mickles. Mickles trying to find it to the front, but Patriots got in the way. Oh, wow, that was a hard check from behind. Tim Hannon. he's uh, definitely looking for that call, and he will get it. Justice will be served. Boarding. That was a hard, hard hit from behind. Oh, and he's going to get a misconduct on top yes. of it. Pash is not pleased with it. And Sterling's not bashful to throw the misconduct on top of it. So four oh, minutes is what I'm is getting it. indicated. And a 10-minute misconduct on top of it. This is great news for the way this power play has been clicking tonight. And they need to get... Uh -huh. They need to get Reese the puck. I'm just going to say it right now. <laughs> well, he's, he's got four of the guys out there to help yeah, him, too. Reese, Don't forget. John Smith... Rempe and Bagfelt. So interesting combination on the tougher, bigger end on the blue line side. So that's interesting. I would expect uh, McDonald to be back there, there instead yeah. of uh, Bagfelt, but that's this could be an well. interesting experiment. Hampton Roads penalty to number 17, Taylor Posh. Two minutes for checking from behind and two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. Okay, Time so no of the penalties, 9-10. Okay, so four minutes. So that in sportsman like was not a ten. So it's just two and two. So you know, nice up. moves there by Reese. There he oh goes. my goodness! <laughs> Drops it to Turgeon. Turgeon with a shot on the glove save, and it just sniped down, glove down, and held on to by Scott. And he's just showing off there. He popped oh. it on top of the glove. Like, great save. Only by the Scott. fanciest of goaltenders. Great save by Scott, but turn that just that corner, and, and he's he's got all the right things going for him. Just can't beat Scott. Yeah, Scott is just too quick. Good reflexes on that goaltender. And Reese coming to the front, trying to look to take a shot. He was getting held up there. Oh, and a push to the front. Oh, and a great shot there by Turgeon, blocked up front by Cornfield. Turgeon will get it again along the hash marks near side, up top to Rempe, over to Turgeon again along the half boards, on the near side, down low, over to Reese. Reese and Turgeon playing catch. Turgeon up top. Rempe winds up, takes his shot, and it was blocked by Pessig up front. 
Bagfeld keeping it active, puts it down behind the goal line for Reese, but it goes past him. Turgeon will chase in the corner. Back to Reese, back over to Turgeon. Turgeon looking for an option here. And he sends it up top to Rempe. Rempe winds up, takes a shot, and it goes right in. The rebound is loose up front, and it's sent up high into the air and goes down the length of the ice. And down to Yutzler with 2.52 left on the power play. Turgeon at the blue line, trying to move it ahead for Smith. Smith's looking for it. He's flapping for it. Brissette's going to stick this one off of Turgeon and out of play. And the faceoff should be inside. 9.34 left here in the third. The Whalers up 5-3. 2.44 left on the power play. Now we have a discussion being had here. It should come Lyfen. out of the zone. It was a deflection. Oh, it well, if, if Brissett was the one that tried to clear it off of Turgeon, it should stay inside. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. So face off to the right of Scott as it comes up top to Gross. Gross, and we're down low to Piccarelli. Piccarelli. Has an option down low with Marks. Up top, Gross. Gross at the point. Over to Marks at the top of the circle. Marks with a little pressure. Gross winds up, sends it down low, looking for the backdoor stuff by Whipper. McDonald chasing. Whipper's going to have to chase it up at the blue line, try to keep it in. He does so. Nice keep as it was really tight at the blue line. Down to Piccarilli. Piccarilli. And Gross is calling for it. Gross will get it. And he's walking his way over to the center, but he'll send it down to the half boards. Piccarilli again. Piccarilli up top to Gross. Gross winds up, sends it down low. Here comes Marks with a shot and a save by Scott. Oh, man. A little bit faster release. I think we would have had a goal. Yeah, he's got to he's got to get that off his stick a little bit quicker, but no credit taken away from Scott. He's been in the right place at the right time. He's got great, great crease movement, and he's keeping this team at a comfortable lead yeah. at 5-3, but like you said last game, the most dangerous lead in hockey. Two-goal lead. Two minutes left on the power play, so that'll do it uh, as far as the double minor, so we're down to a single minor. 8.45 left in the third, Whalers up 5-3. And Reese, top of the near circle, up top, back and forth with Rempe. And it's cut off by Zendejas and sent down to Yutzler. <coughs> and Smith along the near side. Coming across the blue line, he's got a little speed here, tries to drag it through his man, but I said that man and Pesic, Cody Pesic will send it down to Yutzler. One and a half left on the power play. 8.15 left here in the third. Patriots need to get one, and they need to get one soon if they want to drive momentum towards tying again. Reese coming in, taking his shot. And it just moves off over to Reese along the far side. I beg your pardon, as Rempe, but regardless, it'll be Snyder with a toe drag around Bagfeld on his backhand, and it went over the glove of Yutzler. And Snyder looking up top. Nobody there to intercept it as it was Cornfield at the red line that had to play it. Cameron Smith applying some pressure to him. This one sent up high into the air, down the length of the ice, with 55 seconds left on the man advantage for the Patriots. 7.40 left here in the third. Moving along is Alex Gross. Gross along the far side, coming across the blue line into the Whaler zone. Getting around Floria. Sends it over to the near side. Over to Piccarilli. And the puck goes past Marks, and Floria is going to get there first, and he'll send it up along the boards. Not out, kept in by McDonald. McDonald sending it down low, over to the near corner, over to Marks. Marks with the puck now, the hash marks, looking up top, finds McDonald. McDonald winds up, takes a shot, and it's blocked. And it'll be Zendeja sending it the other way. Over to the near side, over to Kolkasi, coming in. Takes a shot, and a save by Yutzler. Ooh, and going hard into the net. Oh, that was Nathan Marks that went colliding with the post, and he is slow to get up, but... He does look a little shaken. 12 seconds left on the man advantage. And not the desired result from that double minor. And it's going to be tough to claw out of here. You run out of time. 7.02 left to go. Reminder, these two teams will play each other tomorrow morning. Warm-ups around 11.40. Game time close to about 11.50 or noon. So tune in here at crossicefeed.com. And also the Empire game will precede that game. So tune in for that one as well. Get your morning coffee and get your hockey fix here at Cross Ice Feed. Whipper along the left side. Coming in on his backhand, takes his shot. Scott to save the rebound, it's loose. And it moves behind the goal line. It'll be Woods setting up along the far boards. And it finds its way into the slot, but it'll be the Whalers that walk out with this one as it's sent up to Gullet. But ahead of him will be Whipper. Or actually Piccarilli who sent it up through center. Somebody's going crazy on the Whalers bench. Somebody's doing a whale song. 
I think they wanted too many men and they might have an argument for it, but not the case to be called right now. And Kanemitsu trying to find his way over the line. And Parker and Morrow colliding. I guess the referee who is deep inside the zone is going to make that call. I guess the linesman Nelson's going to have to trust him on that one. Yeah, I would too. It was, uh, it was offense. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with it. Okay. 6.20 left here in the third period. David Stearns, Brian Trems for the cross-ice feed. Check us out on Facebook. Like us, and we'll like you back. Because that's what we do. We like you. Hannon. Through center to Gregory. Gregory chipping it ahead off into the far corner in the Whalers zone. And it'll be Cornfield chasing it. And it dropped off there. And his poor victim, I don't know who that was. I think it might have been Mickles that took the brunt of that hit as Hannon was chasing. And sent over to the far side. And it'll be Pash. Nice hit. It gets checked hard by Parker. And the Whalers bench wants a penalty. I don't know what for. Kind of got up high with that hit just a little bit. I'm assuming that's what they're looking for. Haynes taking a shot will be gloved down by Yetzler, and he'll hold on to it. 5.49 left here in the third. 10.30 here on a Saturday night at the Prince William Ice Center in Woodbridge, Virginia. It's Northern Virginia versus Southern Virginia. Or the rest of Virginia, however you want to see it. <laughs> Northern Virginia versus the real Southern Virginia. Yeah. And pass with a shot. Yuzzle nope. save. It's gloved down and played by McDonald. McDonald trying to get away from Haynes. And it's sent up along the boards. Far side by Edgington and chipped up and into the air, but not out. Yeah, well, out of the play, but I mean, it's out of the zone too, but at the very least. Now Squeak Pash taking it to the top of the slot, takes a shot, Yutzler to save the rebound. Be cleared away by Pouliot, who will send it down the length of the ice. This one may or may not, no, it will not have enough juice for icing. And the linesman should probably put his hand down, that's kind of embarrassing. Sorry, Nelson. Uh -huh. Turgeon centering it to the front, here comes a chance with a shot, and Scott makes oh. the save on a point-blank shot from, oh. I believe that's uh, Pouliot up front, and Pouliot's just getting banged up. And somebody's going to sit for something or another. Puglia better not be sitting for anything. He just sat there and took it. No, it should be cross-checking. Oh, wow. Ah, Matching well. minors. Ah, that's the uh, cop-out, I guess. <laughs> Two minutes for taking it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But just a second ago, that, that scrum in front of the net... Two Patriot players were standing right there. Just Scott came out and cut down the angle on him. And again, oh, they're going to put another person in the box here. Oh. oh. Third man in, you're calling there? All right, so it will turn it into a He's power He's calling play. it. All right, Wakely, you're the lucky man that's putting the bets down for this one. I think we had, what did you have uh, earlier? It was like a, a hook was, uh, or something? No, it was hooking. I it called it. Uh, you called it like interfering or something. It wasn't <laughs> even close. <laughs> Four on three. We are referees in the making. <laughs> five on five on four. Here we go. Let's get Do the it. call, five shall we? Five on four. I'll take it. All right, so two minutes up on the clock on the Whalers' side. The Whalers are questioning it, and <laughs> there's some energetic back fans to my in Mortal here. Kombat days, which is like yesterday. <laughs> Oh, we're getting tosses here. We're not sure if Zendejas is going to get tossed. Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> here are the, the penalties to Hampton Roads, number 17, Taylor Posh. Two minutes for roughing. Hampton Roads, number 8, Chris Haynes. Two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. Potomac's number 93, Joe Pouliot. Two minutes for roughing. All penalties come at 14.50. And at the low price of $5.99. Okay, so it's cleared in on Scott. And Scott will hold on. Well, if there was ever a time to get a power uh. go, it <laughs> might as well be now. You're going to pull that cliche out of, uh, <laughs> out of my pocketbook again? Yeah, this power play is sponsored by Metro DC DJs. Check them out at MetroDCDJs.com for your local event. And it's Turgeon that will take this face off. Against Snyder, one over to the far boards. Reese trying oh, to get it no. up to Bagfelt, and here comes a shorthanded chance for Zendejas. Zendejas in alone, comes in backhand shot. Yesler the save, and they'll elect that he'll hold on. We'll get a stoppage. 4:34 left here in the third. 1:24 left on the man advantage. The Whalers having a whale of a time. Five to three, they have a lead. As time is running out on the Patriots. 
I don't know. Despite what the scoreboard says, I I, I want to say this is a lot more evenly matched than a 5-3 contest, and certainly that was the case going into the third, but a couple soft goals, and, and here we are. And it's Gross with it. Over to McDonald, far side, back to Gross. Gross looking near side to Whipper. Whipper and in across the left wing into the Whaler zone. Whipper curling in the corner. Banks it off the boards, up top, almost out. Gross will keep it in just for the moment. Oh, he'll deke around one and gives it over to Whipper. Over to the near side. Whipper down low. And it's Marks. Marks up top to Gross. Gross winds up, takes a shot, and it was blocked up front. Almost made its way through. I don't know if Piccarelli got it, but and Gross still has it off in the near corner. Could do something here. Gross to Marks. Marks up top. McDonald with a shot. It gets deflected wide. 35 seconds left on the man advantage. Marks with it. 3.43 left here in the third. Backdoor shot. Oh, oh. ding. Fries are done. Whipper hits the post. Oh, Whipper back on his rebound. Trying to bring it to the front. Still has it. He gets tripped up. No call. And Marks will chase it down far side of the Whaler zone. Dropping it behind him to Whipper. 15 seconds on the man advantage. Whipper turning it down to Marks. Marks had a little trouble getting that pass. He gets checked into the boards hard. Piccarilli will pick it up. He's got it in his feet, though, and he loses it as Snyder will move it away from him in the far circle and tries to deke around Gross. Gross knocks him off stride, but that backhand clear is successful to McDonald at the red line. Five-a-side hockey with three minutes left in the third period. Patriots need two goals to tie this one. And a hard check there, barely being delivered. Now they're going to... Maybe call this one or not. Yeah, yeah it should have Whalers, been a call, but yeah. they're not going to get it. Now the Whalers bench was lobbying for it. Hardcore. Scott will steer this one aside. JoJo Harding going in there. Hard. And as Travis Reese is now working the puck down low. And it gets away from him, and the Whalers will have it. As Pesic has it along the near side, inside of his own zone, oh. leading the breakout. And Pesic across the blue line. Takes his shot, and the Yeltsler steers that aside. Up along the far side, Pesic keeping it in the Patriot zone. Kanemitsu causing some trouble there. And comes over to Smith along the near side boards, and it's cleared up by Floria out of the protective netting, and the faceoff will come outside. 2.17. I think we need a timeout. I think we need a timeout. This is the time to timeout. Coach's timeout. Will Coach Ziegler call for it? Regardless, of the, out, regardless no. of the outcome tonight, uh, a giant step forward for this team. This one goes right back on to Yusler. He has to stop this one up. 2.10 left here in the third. Another one would be nice to make this pretty interesting, wouldn't it? Whipper, across the line, I agree. Whipper, along the goal line, to the front, nobody there to connect. And the Whalers trying to clear it out. Not out, kept in by McDonald. To the front to Turgeon with a backdoor shot and a save by wow. Scott. He just got there in the nick of time as Nathan Marks tried to make his mark. Kai is in the right place at the right time. All the time. There's, there's nothing that they can do to be this goaltender in the third period here. Whew. Man alive. I wonder Did if I he moved? wears that 30 on purpose. He's got this brodeur quality about him. Yeah. He's got that side-to-side -side movement, and he's at the right place at the right time. Well, let's get a look in here and see what Coach Ziegler can uh, muster up. Being down by two is a uh, difficult spot to be in at the end of a game. Uh, it's just under two minutes to go. I'm going to give you the John Madden of this, pointing out the obvious. <laughs> What you want to do is put the... Oh, it's not even close to John no, Madden. Not even, not even going to go any further. Cutting myself off there. Baranowski will be here soon enough. we got to get him a job down here. <laughs> a full-time job. we got to meet this guy. <laughs> yeah. He's a... Uh, yeah, he's an interesting character. Got to find another From team Pittsburgh. in, in yeah. the area for him to do play-by-play. He does do play-by-play. -play. He does indeed. No, they need someone with, with yeah. experience. All right, let's get back here. Let's get back here. So what do you think Coach Ziegler is telling us, guys? I mean, this is this is crucial. you, you got to come up with something here. Let's let, let's analyze who he puts out there first. I mean, we got Turgeon, we got Whipper, we got Marks, we got McDonald, and we got the empty net and Pouliot and Bagfeld. Empty net with 154, down by two. Got to do it. Pulling all the stops. Bagfeld, stay on your feet, buddy. <laughs> Easy there. Easy there. We need you on the back end. Yeah, Good we win. Do. 
Marks takes his shot and it just misses that corner. On the glove side, McDonald backhanding it down. McDonald just gets Penalty. absolutely run over. There's going to be a call there. He got clocked from behind. Let him touch the puck, please. This one's a delayed offside. As we have 135 left, and they touch it, and we will have that call. 136, I beg your pardon. Wow. Six on four coming up. Man. Harrington making the call here. The bench is looking. His bag felt uh, picking up some sort of piece of equipment off the ice. I don't know what that is, but they go and yeah. for cross checking. A penalty okay. to number eight, Haynes. Well, or Mickles. Or is it Haynes or is it Mickles? I, I lose. It's a bit of a mountain to climb, but certainly not out of the yeah. question. Yeah, definitely. Six on four. Hampton Roads penalty to number eight, Chris Haynes. Two minutes for cross checking. Time of the penalty, 18 24. Uh, nice glove save there by Scott. Scott uh, He's having himself a night. Yeah. Number one star at this point. Ugh. Goodness. Face off back at the left of Scott. One back by the Whalers and cleared down oh, the length of the ice, and that one's nope. going to go just wide of the net as it comes out to the front. I've seen mystery pucks move in weird directions. That one wasn't going in the back of the net, so don't worry. Reese having it poked away from him. He got a little ahead of himself into the zone as this one goes back to Bagfeld with 110 left here in the third. And a power play to close things out. Hopefully these guys can land one, at least here in the closing minute. And there's one minute left here in the third. Kershaw dropping it back for Marks. Pouliot trying to work for it. And the Whalers having their way with him. As it's cleared up, and Zendejas will clear it out. Through to the neutral zone. Bagfell up along the glass, and all the way ahead. No Patriots player could get a hold of it. It's sent back to the Patriots blue line with Turgeon. 40 seconds left here in the third. Turgeon across the line, misses the puck when he took his shot. And now Pouliot down on his knees, gives it over to Reese. Reese, and he couldn't get a shot through as Woods will strip it back and with a half a minute. Comes up to Marks at the blue line. Marks turning it down, over to Reese. Down low to Turgeon. Turgeon looking for an option. Throws it to the front of the net. Nobody there to connect with it. 20 seconds left. And behind the back pass. And a shot goes to the front. The rebound does not make its way to Scott. And now we're going to have a whistle. And the net was probably moved off by an inch. If that. Yeah. Yep. An inch. Okay. Good measurement from up there. Thank you. Unnecessary whistle. I tell you. 13 seconds left. Got to be off the face off here. It's Something quick. Be. And it's one back over to the Whalers, and the Whalers are clear. Folks, that'll do it. And the Hampton Roads Whalers take a victory from this one. As Reese comes in with a last effort and a pad saved by Scott, and that'll do it. Five to three is the final score. The Hampton Roads Whalers take one of two away from the Patriots tomorrow. At 11.40, we'll have warm-ups, 11.50, possibly Newton game time between these same two teams. So tune in then. And also, don't forget, we have a morning game. 14 for a game total of 32. Total here. For Hampton Roads, 10 for a game total of 34. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here are tonight's Here's Metro three DC stars. DJs, three stars of the game. First, the number three star from Potomac with two assists, number 10, Andrew Turgeon. The number two star also from Potomac with a pair of goals, number 98, Travis Reese. And the number one star for Hampton Roads with two goals, including the eventual game winner, number 15, Dylan Woods. So there's your three stars. And as I was saying, tomorrow morning, we will have the Empire game on here as well on crossicefeed.com. Once again, check us out on Facebook, Cross Ice Feed, and check out the podcast on iTunes. This is David Stearns with Brian Schrems. Brian, do you have any last second thoughts before we move into well, tomorrow? We see something similar tomorrow. Fun game to watch for about two and a half periods. Well, hopefully things will turn around. So for my broadcast team, Brian Schrems and Jason Wakely, I'm David Stearns saying good night, everybody. The Potomac Patriots fall to the Hampton Roads Whalers for the final score.